Hi, my name is Amit and uh, today I'm going to teach you about uh, serverless framework. So in this course, we are going to build the projects. So there are some of the videos about this course. So please go through that and uh, let's just start uh, with the first video. So in this, in, this, in this video, I'm going to teach you about what exactly serverless is. If you don't know what exactly serverless is, please watch my previous video which is mentioned in my description so you can just click on that link and you can, you can watch what exactly serverless framework is so in this video I am going to install serverless framework in our system and then how to uh, what exactly serverless commands are there so I am just going to teach you about that so let's just start okay so you can see right now uh, we are in, uh, in the terminal and uh, right now I am in uh, my users testing so what we are going to do is we are just going to click, uh, write the cd command and we are going to desktop uh oh all right so now now we are in the desktop folder so here we are going to install the serverless framework exactly serverless uh, you know library uh, the package in our system so let me just show you my node version and the npm version so you will get exactly know what exactly so uh, what exactly uh, version you have to use so my version is my node version is let me show you so it's 10.15.3 and my npm version is 6.4.1 so now we are going to install serverless npm package so how we'll do it we just have to write the uh, uh, command which is npm install globally so g is g stands for the globally and then we have to write the serverless so what is going to do is this npm is going to install this serverless from their uh, library package so if you are installing the first time uh, that is going to show you uh, this uh, with all the descriptions that is installed but i have already installed the serverless in my system so it just giving uh, it, 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 it is just going to send me a message like uh, we have updated your serverless framework so let's just wait while it's it's installing okay it's still installing as you can see like some of the mess messages are printed here so you can watch exactly what are the warnings are available here what are the you know uh, which are the things has already deprecated so you can uh, you know check out from this message uh, let's just wait for some moment and then it is going to update my serverless framework and if you are if you are the first time user for the serverless framework that is going to install all, all the packages from there hold on sorry for that my internet con connection is you know have a less bandwidth come on go fast here we go okay oh, so you can see here uh, this package is now installed in my system and you know uh, it is showing us the message that if you want to start your first project you have to type the serverless and you can see like uh, some of the package is added here and some packages packages are updated which you know I've already installed the serverless framework and some of the messages are available above now so serverless is installed in our system now what we are going to do here from here so we have to write some of the commands here of serverless so like how we can run a project how we can create a project so first we are going to take the help from serverless so how we will do do it we have to write serverless or else you can write instead of serverless the whole spells you can write sls as well so sls then we have to write i have to write help so this is going to show me some messages like what are the things are what are the commands are available for me okay so as you can see here i have written here now it's showing some of the messages so these are the commands this is for the config so let me just give you some you know brief about these commands so this config is for the configuration of your serverless and that is going that you know that is going to use this command in a future so like if you want to like uh, if you're working with some kind of provider service provider 
सर्विस प्रोवाइडर लाइक ए डब्ल्यू एस गूगल क्लाउड एजोर सो यू कैन कन्फिक योर क्रेडेंशियल्स विद द कमांड ऑफ विद द हेल्प ऑफ कमांड कन्फिक क्रेडेंशियल्स ही आर सम ऑफ द कमांड्स आर अवेलेबल विच इज़ यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल एनी पैकेजेस यू कैन राइट द पैकेज कमांड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डेप्लॉय अ पर्टिकुलर यू नो प्रोजेक्ट सो यू कैन राइट द एस एल एस एंड देन डेप्लॉय सो एंड देन अगेन ही इज द डेप्लॉय फंक्शन सो वट एग्जैक्टली इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डेप्लॉय एंड द डेप्लॉय फंक्शन सो डेप्लॉय इज जस्ट टू इज जस्ट टू डेप्लॉय द होल प्रोजेक्ट एंड डेप्लॉय फंक्शन इज फॉर you have to write a particular function if you want to upload that particular function only to your service provider or or in the instance you can upload this particular function only so if you want to check out like what are the list are available which you have deployed these functions or the you know uh, projects if you want to see like some of the commits you have made to your instance and which you have deployed to the instance you can see you know uh, all the histories of those deployments here is the invoke command blah 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 and we are going to use all these commands in the future so let's just start with the beginning so we are going to create a project so what we have to write here so we have to write sls as you know i'm writing sls instead of serverless whole spells so i'm writing sls then we have to write create and i have to take again the help so okay so as you can see here uh it's showing some messages like if you want to create any project so you have to use these commands like template i'm sorry guys for the background noise i don't know you know my sister is laughing for no reason okay so what so this is for the template exactly so you know if you want to create any project so then you have to write the sls and then create and then you have to use this t or instead this template whole template and what exactly are these basically if you are working with the different language and then you want to install and, and you know obviously if you are working with a different language you you are going to use any particular instance like from the service provider like aws or the google so you have to create those kind of projects only so right now i'm using node js and i'm going to deploy this project to the aws so i have to find the aws node js so as you can see like aws python then aws python 3 aws groovy griddle so like these are the things which is available so i have to find aws node js and where it is okay so here we go so as you can see here aws node js is available here so as i told you what i have to write is sls and then second command would be create and then we have to use this template i'm writing t and then i have to use this aws node js so let me just copy it okay so i'm going to run this command and let's see what is going to happen and what is going to give us so as you can see it's gen it's generating the boilerplate exactly so what exactly boilerplate is you have to you know you'll get some of the files from the serverless so you will you will get serverless yml file and then uh, uh, some git ignore file and some uh, handler.js in that you will get some particular functions so like some of the blueprint will be created automatically and it will give you to you know use those things so let me just find what are the files are available here oh i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, okay okay i'm in the desktop so i have to create some create one particular folder so i'm writing here server sls eng okay 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 so sls eng okay not again i'm sorry for this okay so i have created uh, one folder that is sls eng and then i have to enter into this and then i have to use that command into this folder so you know serverless is going to create all those files in this particular folder only so let me just check okay so it's created another time and let me check what are the files are available here so as you can see uh, this serverless handler.js and git ignore file is created automatically from the serverless framework 
so in this video that's it from my side and in the next video we are going to uh, you know uh, uh, we'll check like what exactly serverless yml file is how we are going to write our functions and what exactly git ignore file is so uh, i'll see you in the next video and one more message if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel which is bell icon is down of this video so please subscribe it thank you so much